Well, uh, hey everybody, it is uh, super lovely to be here tonight with all of you. My name's Mississippi, and we're going to get ready to unleash some carols for an uncommon Christmas. I've got my buddy, Mike Haltzclaw, with me. Tell me a, a little bit about why everybody should know you, Mike. Does everybody know me? Well, in my world, they do. People should know me. Uh, I have spent half my life here in Virginia and spent almost 30 years at the Daily Press the best part of that was covering the local music scene. Best Sounds part good. of it, covering the local music scene and outstanding bands and performers like some of them we're going to be having with us here tonight. Hey, one of the best cups of coffee I ever had was with you when I finally got my band under your radar. I remember that. So, check it out. We're here on behalf of the Hampton History Museum and a lot of local musicians and some out-of-towners have given us some pretty cool Christmas spins this year. So, uh, hey, Jim. Why don't you cue one of those up for us? It's going to be the Lonely Teardrops. Norfolk, Virginia band. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I know that they play at uh, a lot of different places. Uh, from what I understand, they did it at one of the studios up in Richmond. Uh, hey, Matt Lodica, yeah, do you have your notes over there? What studio did they do that in? Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm sorry. That would have been the uh, immense Orbital Park, Orbital Music Park. Have you heard of that? I have now. Okay, well, I it's, have now. it's pretty, pretty cool. So anyways, look, we're going to play another band next. Uh, you might know, you, I actually, I think this is one of your friends, Bobby Blackhat. Bobby Blackhat, my dear friend. Oh, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. Love Bobby. Here you guys do some comedy together? We, Bobby and I do stand-up comedy together. We are waiting for Cosies to reopen in Newport News so we can get back up on stage. All right, keep an Bobby, eye out. Bobby is the one who first got me on stage to do comedy, so you can either credit him or blame him for that. Uh, one or the other, we can blame Bobby for a lot, but that's not a bad thing. That we can't blame him thing. for traffic on the HRBT, I know that. <laughs> no, that we cannot. Ah, oh, man. Hey, Jim, why don't you cue up that uh, love song about Christmas with Bobby Black Cat? Thank you. 
silver bells and jingle bells. Once again, that time of year, silent nights, holy nights. Upon a midnight clear, the time for season's greeting. Hot chocolate and good cheer. Baby, I made my Christmas wishes. My list is short. My wants are few. Baby, I made my Christmas wishes. My list is short. My wants are few. All I want this year for Christmas is moonlight, mistletoe, and you. Don't want no presents. Don't need no Christmas tree. Just want my sexy Santa to keep on loving me. Baby, I made my Christmas wishes. My list is short. My wants are few. All I want this year for Christmas is moonlight, mistletoe, and you. Just want my sweetheart to snuggle and keep me warm, hold me tight all night. A loving marathon, baby. I made my Christmas wishes. My list is short, my wants are few. All I want this year for Christmas. All I want this year for Christmas is moonlight, mistletoe, and you. And that's when Christmas will last all year long. Hotter, the uh, fire or the mood in here from that music. Whew. I tell you what, Hampton is one of my favorite places. Like I said, we're here with the Hampton History Museum. Uh, you're at the museum yourself, one of them, aren't you? I am. I am at the Isle of Wight County Museum, home right. of the world's oldest ham. Well, and I mean, right after the holidays, I think that you guys might have some competition, but you know, not with that the way this true. year's been. I, I'm, we I'm always not say sure. the ham, the ham kind of likes Thanksgiving and doesn't mind. Christmas, but he's a little squirrely around Easter because right. he doesn't know if one of his relatives is being served for dinner. I understand. Well, yeah. if you're looking for another holiday ham, you know this ham is always there for you. So, you know, speaking of locals, we just had Bobby Black Hat, and uh, you know, when I think of Kazi's and Bobby Black Hat, I think somebody else. 
I think of Jack Green. Jack Green, absolutely. Is he a friend of yours? Uh, I've met Jack. Actually, the first time I saw him play was in Smithfield, was at a Mike Aiken Music Fest. Well, that was a trick question, because one thing about Jack Green, Jack Green is a friend of mine and yours. Jack Green's a friend of everybody. Cue that up, Jim. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just like Jack Green. This song is called Santa Claus. I was six years old, the first time it happened it Wasn't my fault I had to use the bathroom At the cabin on a Christmas Eve There he stood beside the Christmas tree Santa Claus, little red suit Santa Claus, bowl full of jelly Santa Claus, corn cob pipe Santa Claus, ho 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 Well, I was 15 before I saw him again At the mall with all my friends We were laughing and having a time Don't you know he's a friend of mine? Santa Claus, little red suit Santa Claus, bowl full of jelly Santa Claus, corn cob pipe Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho Got Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Common Cuban, Daughter, and Vixen Santa Claus, little red suit Santa Claus, bowl full of jelly Santa Claus, corn cob pipe Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho Santa Claus Little red suit, Santa Claus, bowl full of jelly, Santa Claus, corn cob pipe, Santa Claus, ho ho ho. wild one he's a wild one that jack green from what i understand that's becoming a local favorite at uh the hilton tavern i think actually yeah, yes I'm just i came here from there tonight. that is correct should and we say should chicken we... wings okay get some chicken wings we get the hilton tavern that's my favorite you know what else you can get there's a scoop of ice cream that's crazy Nothing wrong with that yeah so anyways Oh, I had to look at my list. I'm sorry. I get way too excited. Jim's kind of not telling me what's going on. You know how elusive he is. So, have you ever heard of Idle Edsel? Idle Edsel. I have not heard of Idle Edsel. Well, he's got some pretty wild bands. Uh, one of the bands that he's working with right now is the Virginia Gentlemen. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, the Hasselhoffs, the Jack Bennies, the Tchotchkes. This guy has like over 32 bands. He's a Norfolk legend. He's from Ocean View, Virginia. And, uh, you know, because it's Christmas... That's why I had him. Idol, I love you. You're my rock and roll dad. He's responsible for me. Jim, cue it up. <laughs> Somebody's gotta be. Somebody's gotta be. Because it's Christmas, I wish you were here with your mistletoe, ribbons and bows, Rudolph's nose, everything goes this year. It's Christmas Santa Claus is near Hey, And the angels cry It's silent night Red and white tights Saturday rides for deers Because it's Christmas It might snow this year Lights go all night, need a light or a cheer. Oh, 
own yourself a jolly Noel. Fa la 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 di da. Fa la 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 di da. Santa doesn't care if you're black or white. He loves all children, big and small. He doesn't care about your religion as long as you're shopping at the mall. Because it's Christmas Santa cares if you're homeless or hungry at night If you're naughty or nice in black and white tights And everything's right this year Because it's Christmas interesting one right i mean i don't know I, I think of bands like johnny thunders and stuff when i think of this guy absolutely he's, he's a little wild so up next uh lady who likes to take her coffee black it's tornado bait tornado this is, uh, this is one of our songs it's the new one you haven't heard it so there you go jim jim tell them what what we've been doing show them play it cue it on Mississippi this year and 
You know, it, it's been awful for everybody, but I'm just trying to make the best of it. And that's all we can do. I'm so glad to have you here with me. We're and here, right? All these people sending this stuff in so we can stay safe. And man, it's just been awesome. I don't know. I'm feeling it. You ready for another song? Eh, enough I'm talk about me. Always ready for another song. All right, song. Jim, cue it up. Cue it up so they can find out who contributed next. just to check them out. So this next band, I think you know, uh, no matter how old it gets, it's always good, even if it's recycled. It's the fruitcakes. The fruitcakes. I knew you Everybody knew Everybody loves fruitcakes. Everybody loves fruitcake. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. You know what everybody else loves too? I want to be a fruitcake. Oh man, you might be a fruitcake. I Watch could be out. A fruitcake. You're hanging out with one. I could be a fruitcake. So, I'm telling you, I could. Okay, well, you know, they need new members. We might be able to get a hold of them and let them know that you're looking. You know? 
Do you know what else I love? What do you love? Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Love Christmas cheese balls. Jim, cue it up. We got somebody that wants to be in the fruitcakes too here. Merry Christmas cheese ball when you rolled in town. A crowd had gathered round to masticate your crown. Merry Christmas cheese ball, you didn't stay that long. Shorter than a song, turned my head, you were gone. Merry Christmas cheese ball, come back where you belong. Some people say that your past is your flavor. Out of style, haters do defile. Put your taste on try. Show you around in Portland, and never a surprise. Since when's that a crime? Don't listen to them whine. Merry Christmas, cheese ball, you conquered space and time. Stabbing shiny knives in you, we walk right. cheese ball. It's here and I, then it's not. Right? That was what the song it was about. It doesn't stay that long. If, at first. And he didn't stay that long. He didn't stay that long. So I think there was something that we were supposed to mention about that band. It's a pretty big band. I don't even know if I can name all the members in it. But what I do Why? know is one of your friends, Sam McDonald, right? My brother. He used to write for the press too. He did. From what I understand, he wrote that song. Really? Yes, he did. I've written songs for Sam McDonald. Well, the lyrics that? to that song, being a writer, that is. Yes. So you've written songs for Sam McDonald. I mean, that we should keep an ear out for. I, I'm not a musician, you understand, but I'm a writer, and so I would write song lyrics and give them to Sammy and say, if you write the music to this, I can say I wrote a song. And Tornado a song, doesn't understand not a musician. You're a musician to me. We have, If I have a bag on my head, I am. Okay. We have a song that has been in the works for like 10 years, and I'm waiting for Sam to say, okay, we're going to record it. But it, it, it's up to him. It's up to Sam. Sam, that sounds like a challenge. Okay. All right, so well. you remember this. All the way home. All the way home. All the way home. All right. Coming soon to a baseball stadium near you. 2021, all the way home. Sam McDonald, we're counting on you. So speaking of songs that we're waiting on, let's quit waiting on the next one. Let's get to it. You ready? All, all right. Cue it up.
super, super excited to have him this year for sure. And uh, I don't know if I've heard anything that exciting since the Pee Wee Herman special <laughs> where Grace Jones came out and did her take on Pa-Rumpa Pum Pum. Pa-Rumpa Pum Pum. Oh my gosh, because the Fuzz Band is powerhouse. Oh, the Fuzz Band is awesome. I love me the Fuzz Band. Any, any particular stories you'd like to tell about them? I know they've been around a really long time. Any idea how long they've been around? Forever. Forever. They're, they're Forever. not going and, they, and yet they anywhere. look young. Oh my gosh, you know? they are but young. Dwayne Smith told me, I, I talked to him the day that Prince died, mm -hmm. and he told me this wonderful story that he was up in New York. He had a, a trumpeting gig up in New York this one night, and he got done at like one in the morning and was walking through Manhattan with his trumpet, and he got a text from a friend because Prince had just played Madison Square Garden. And the friend said, you've got to come to this little club. Prince is playing his after show here. Right. And Dwayne thought, well, I'm not going to be able to get in. And he, but he walked there anyway. And this tiny little club. And, mm. and Dwayne had his trumpet with him. And when he arrived, the guy at the door thought he was part of the band and waved him in. Right. And Dwayne says, I sat there and watched Prince play it for two hours for about 30 people in this little club. And I'm sitting there because I have my trumpet. Right. He said, at one point, Prince's trumpet player comes and sits next to me, and I figure, I'm busted now, right? They're going to throw me yeah. out. And now he sat and talked, and I got to sit and watch Prince play in in a little club with a couple of dozen people in it for two hours. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I know yeah. that they said, uh, Prince says uh, you should write one song every single day. I think that's one of his things. Well, speaking of writing one song every day, we've gotten through so many. Let's uh, let's listen to one more. Jim, cue it up. I think it's going to be a local corkadelic band. Ugliography? Ugliography. Yeah, and actually, thank you, Ugliography, for sharing your house with us. <laughs> From what I understand, you've been here before. I think so. We'll talk about that afterwards. Cue it up, Jim. Held out hope for most of my years, but now it's not hope. It's faith that's real Cause you told me with your own lips that I'd meet you Here on earth before I slipped away to die Elements way down my broken bones And God I can't wait till you call me Tight, keeping an ear out in the cold night for your living light. Cause I can't die until your child is born. I can't die, Lord, till your child is born. I can't die, oh Lord, till your child is born. Just today, I felt compelled. Got to the temple And there's a baby in my way Lifted him up And knew he was yours Bless you baby Jesus You are the source Of glory for all Because of this child Will be the rise and fall of many the sign of this child will bring him swarms of enemies And a sword will pierce your heart, oh Mary A sword will pierce your proud heart But let's celebrate tonight Cause the intentions of the world will be exposed Sword will pierce your heart, oh Mary. 
A sword will pierce your proud heart But let's celebrate tonight Cause the intentions of the world will be exposed I've held the baby Christ and now one last time My eyes will close Ugliography song. Matt uh, just wrote that this year. I got a question for you. Why are they called ugliography? They seem like handsome guys. I'm not really sure. You know what? Since we're at Matt's house, let me see if Jim will let him go for a second. Hey, Matt! Yeah! Yeah, why do they call you ugliography? Because I have bad handwriting. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. That now, makes sense. now the mystery is here. Bad that handwriting, makes sense. old fruit cakes. Uh, you know. Speaking of which, uh, man, Hampton has a lot to contribute this year. And speaking of people who have a lot to contribute, uh, I got to play with a band called the Floating Children. But don't let me take credit for that. Sam McDonald and and Matt Thomas, Matt Lotica, Matt Lotica, Tornado Bait and Ugliography plays with the Floating Children with them. And I don't even know what else to say. Let's just cue it up. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. Ho, ho. Mm, he ran a toy factory up in the North Pole. I asked for new drums instead of coal. He came down the chimney and he tore his clothes, leaving his underpants exposed. Would be bad. Santa's got that candy cane on the wheel. Without the moon, his book would be bad. Holly Jolly. Mm, the reindeers took off, they were all the fright, leaving Santa stuck with the band all night. Veterinarian is a fan 
of the floating children. Well, there you go. That That's one true. way to pick a vet is good taste in music, That's true. for sure. Absolutely. They don't just say our animals pick us, our vets and the bands pick us, too. That's right. So, hey, you know, let's just go ahead and get Matt over here to tell us a little bit more Can about the Matt? floating children. Yeah, come on, Matt. Come on. Here, go ahead. All Sit right. down right here. Come here. Right. Oh, yeah, just don't movie. catch your hair on fire, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just come over, come over here. Come over here. Sit on the yeah. pillow with me a little bit. Oh, right. There you go. So, uh, hey, yeah, tell us about the, the floating children. Uh, the floating children were at their heyday back in... What year would that have been? It was when Sam McDonald was in college. Was in college. His, his days... In, He's uh, younger than me, so that would be the late 80s. Okay, yes, sounds about right. And they played a lot. Apparently they played, like, every weekend at different clubs, and they... Uh, really ticked off some people because of their <laughs> their antics and their stage show and they would now, trash up the room and things this is this triangle is triangle area back in the, yeah, yeah, north chapel carolina hill, triangle, yeah, okay. yeah yeah chapel hill raleigh uh so um years passed and i think i think they're in their heyday for about three or four years there years passed and they did some reunion shows and uh sam asked me if i would come and help them out for a reunion show uh, about three four years ago and I've been playing with them ever since. We don't get together that often, maybe well, once. That's, that's once. how I met them. You guys let me play yeah. the hopscotch with you. That was pretty exciting. And that and was a psych fest. Yes, oh, psych was, fest. And then what was we the were, last We were on the time. ticket for hopscotch this year, I think, as we were right, we were right, right. In and it didn't happen, so it was uh, pretty exciting. But, uh, yeah, good times, good fun. It was good times. Fun stage well, hey. show. They had some crazy people in that. Thanks for contributing so much this year. You know, from Hampton, the fruitcakes, uh, you know, the floating children and ugliographies. Yeah. yeah, glad to. And, Merry Christmas. That's hey, cool. anything about this house? We, you got a book, right? I did. I, I did write about this yes, house. Yes, I have your book. As, I do uh, have as, the book as here. part of a, of a book on the history of the NASA Langley Research Center. That's right. Because this house was built and designed by a knack of nut. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's some pretty, pretty strange features about the house. That but very I, efficient. Uh, very efficient. Yes. Space yes. efficient. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. why I date them for all the closets. Oh uh, God, <laughs> lots of closet space. And the sound system. <laughs> yeah, the sound ah. system. Yeah, the previous owners didn't even know it was here. It's a hidden sound system that uh, has different speakers with volume control in six different rooms of the house. And you found and it by accident, right? Yeah, well, I saw, uh, I saw, no, I didn't know what they were. They had, <laughs> they had, had an old, closet, right? they had an old heath in the front closet up here. They had an old heath kit receiver, which is a put together, um, you buy the kit, you order it, and you put all the transistors and everything together. And that's what the speakers, the whole system was. Now, the receiver there didn't work. It sounds very and corkadelic. I, so I hooked up my Sony receiver to it, and all of a sudden there was music all over the house. Uh, Whoa! Just like the Christmas special this like, year. Yeah, I want to work downstairs, turn it down. Hey. Somebody else can be partying upstairs. And I wanted great. to thank you for showing Jim how to use the system in this house to play the music for the special. Oh, that yeah. was super cool. No problem. But He's hey, a fast learner. You know, not to cut you off. This fire's getting hot. And it we got is. a couple songs left. Will you do me a favor? I'm trying not to catch my hair on fire. Don't do that. Don't do that. Save that for another date. That does Will you look go pretty tell comfortable. Jim to cue the music up for us for the okay. next song? I'll go get him. Hey, Jim, we're ready for the next song, oh, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, man. I tell you what, Mike, this has been a blast. I, it has been a blast. I, this, is, uh, this is one way to celebrate Christmas, so it's don't complain. It's a Christmas complain. to remember. It's a Christmas to remember, absolutely. It's a Christmas tradition. We'll do this again next year. I'll be here. Every, Sam said he was going to come back next year while we're, while we're holding him to the flame. I would love to have Sam here. All right. Well, Jim, cue the next one up. Festival of lights will be light on the guest list. My candles will be stationed six feet apart. I'll be eating my lockers while I lie down. We're making a list and checking it twice, stocking up on hand sanitizer, plenty of rice. You can't sit on Santa's knee when you're in quarantine.
Starbucks cups aren't on anyone's mind Who would even risk going to stand in line This Christmas will be full of social distance Although it's hard to season may keep us apart We're still close together within our hearts And for what it's worth Peace on earth This Christmas will be full of social distance. Well, that was jolly. Oh, no you gotta like a singer who can mind Christmas and distance. Right, right. That's, well, a, that's a true talent, is to be able to rhyme two words that don't actually rhyme. There you go. Well, that's Johnny Habu. And uh, Patrick Jensen from Inferior Brain Power. They're some of our favorite, favorite people. They're up from the Richmond area. And uh, they're pretty wild. I kind of highly suggest you check them out again, other than tonight, right? But first tonight. But first tonight, first tonight. With you guys. And if y'all haven't met them, go check out Inferior Brain Power. Inferior Power. Brain power. Very self depreciating for a band that seems to have what you say is a decent amount of brain power to. Seems to be. Rhyme words that don't rhyme. Tom Petty is the king of rhyming words that don't rhyme yeah. because he has that that Florida drawl and he can just mispronounce words until they rhyme and you don't notice until you look at the lyrics and say, wait a minute, that's what he was saying? I'm going to put you on the spot. Any particular favorites? Oh, God, yeah. Come on, what do you got? No, listen, when, and this isn't a rhyme, but it's a word. When the Hard Promises album came out okay. and the lead single was Woman in Love, you know the song? Okay. And we thought it was funny that when he sang woman in love, he didn't really pronounce the M in woman. It came out, she's a woman in love. Right. And it was like a running joke between us, right? And then the album came out, and there's a song on it called Something Big. And in the middle of Something Big, this is a true story, Miss. Right. In the middle of Something Big, he said the word woman. Hmm. And just like he was pronouncing it in the spelling bee. And we right. were so impressed. And we went back and we looked in the lyrics and we couldn't find it. The word woman isn't in here, but we heard him say it. And so we played the song again and followed in the lyrics. And it turned out he was saying, wait a minute. Oh, jeez. But it came out, women. There you go. Tom Petty. Well, much more talented. Part of his genius. With, with the, than the hot and hot rhyming thing, but... <laughs> I'm not a music critic, so maybe I can pick on people. Well, hey, speaking of things that are out, I think we're out of time. But it's been lovely and it's been fun. I have a Christmas gift for you. You can do? I give it to Come you on, on let's do this. You know, I gave a Christmas gift to somebody last year and they gave it back. I won't do that to you. This is just for you. Oh, my gosh. From my heart. Oh, oh, it's a, oh. Oh, I do love them. Oh, thank you so much. You like, see, I was going to say and, I didn't or something. <laughs> but do you see what they are? They're nutcrackers. They're adorable. They're nutcrackers. Well, and you know that as much as I talked about being divorced for two years, I'm one myself. See? <laughs> I love them. They're because adorable. Because everybody needs rabbits. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh, I, thank I you. I actually have some parsley for your little friends. Oh, they will appreciate it. That is the one thing that I cannot grow. Yes, we have a rabbit at the house called Beelzebunny. And uh, we were doing a rabbit rescue. So thank you. Thank you so much. I love these. I appreciate it. I would, me to you. I would hug you, but I don't think we're allowed to do that. We're, we're supposed to, to live by that. example, right? But you know what? Distance hugs. That's right. Distance, Distance hugs. hugs. All right, guys. Well, it's been amazing, and we were just so happy to be here this year. Thank you to Mike Haltzclaw. Thank you to Matt for sharing your home. Thank you to the Hampton History Museum for, you know, helping us put this on. And thank you to all the bands that contributed. I mean, there's just so many of you to thank. I'm going to make sure to list them in the credits. And, you know, we love you, Hampton Roads, and we love you, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hey, Matt, why don't you play us out of tune? <laughs>
got anything special, Mr. Haltzclaw, to tell these guys, leave them with for the year? Peace on Earth. Happy New Year. May, may 2021 be a great year. And again, my favorite line from a Christmas song. Through the years, we all will be together if the fates allow. We are here together. We'll be here again next year, right? There you go. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.